Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you my Blue Underground collection and I have 11 Blu-ray titles and 8 DVD titles. And we'll jump right in it with Fulci's Zombie. And this is the two disc Ultimate Edition. It comes with this nice little slip cover. And then both of the discs are Blu-ray. And on disc one you have the film in disc two you have a ton of features I'll show you the back of the case here in a second and there's not a whole lot I need to say about this movie that you guys don't know already this is probably Fulci's best zombie film I think if you see inside this box right here this is all the extras that are on disc two And if you're going to get this film, if you don't have it already, which I'm pretty sure just about everybody does have it. But if you don't have it, I would recommend starting with this one. This has everything you probably need. You get a nice clean um, print of the movie, and then you have all those extras. So you won't need anything more than that. And up next is The House by the Cemetery, another Fulci classic. And this one came out in 1981, starring Katrina McCall who has worked with Fulci in other movies. And this one has the famous villain, Dr. Freudstein. And Dr. Freudstein does some experiments in the basement. And if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but I do recommend watching this one. This is... I hate these cases that have that little plastic flap in the side right here. Those are useless to me. I don't understand why they have them, but that is The House by the Cemetery <clears throat> from 1981. And up next is another Fulci classic. This is City of the Living Dead. This one came out in 1980. And this one also has Katrina McCall, and it also has Christopher George. This movie is about a psychic and a reporter who try to race to close the gates of hell. And it's um it's a pretty good film. It's it's a little cheesy at the end when they get to the gates of hell, but I, I thought it was a pretty solid film, and I recommend it for your collection. Up next is The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue from 1974. But most of you will remember the title, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, which is the U.S. title. It's pretty much the only title I ever knew this by. Um, when Blue Underground put this out as The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue was the first time I've ever heard that title. But it does sound pretty cool. I believe that was the U.K. title. And there you got the inside. And Blue Underground really does a good job with the quality. They have really nice prints and good quality Blu-rays. That is The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. Go pick that one up, starring Ray Lovelock. Up next is The Original Maniac from William Lustig from 1980, starring Joe Spinell and Caroline Munro. And Joe Spinell is a Obviously, he's a maniac, but he goes around and he scalps women, and he collects the scalps, and he puts them on mannequins and stuff. He's pretty deranged. And he passed away too soon, but he was a good actor. He really pulled this off, and he played a perfect maniac in this movie. I really enjoy this movie. I have not seen the remake with uh, Elijah Wood, but I heard that's pretty good, too. And that is Maniac from 1980. Up next we have the Toolbox Murders, and this is the original from 1978, and there was a remake in the, I think like 2004, something like that. This is the original, and it's it's about a ski masked killer who goes through a um, apartment complex and he kills all the tenants with different tools from his toolbox. And there's some pretty creative kills in this film. 
and it is Toolbox Murders. I recommend it. If you, uh, if you find it, pick it up. Up next is Stage Fright from 1987. This one was written by George Eastman, who was the, uh, who starred in Anthropophagus. And he was also in many spaghetti westerns and other films. <clears throat> this movie is about a group of actors who lock themselves into like an auditorium so they can practice for a musical coming up. And the same night that they're practicing for this play or this musical, there's an escaped lunatic on the prowl and he gets into the auditorium and he goes through and uh, not going to give it away. You're going to have to watch and see for yourself. But it's, this is a good film, Stage Fright. Up next is some cheese. This is another William Lustig uh, film. He directed it, and Larry Cohen wrote it. And this is 1996 film, Uncle Sam. And it's about a soldier who was killed in Operation Desert Storm. And he rises from the grave after some punks burn a flag over his grave. And there you can see the, the soldier who comes back to take revenge on those who disrespect the flag. And this is pretty creative kills in here. I, I enjoyed this film. I owned this on DVD years ago. And then uh, I ended up selling it. And then I regretted it and I ended up buying it again on DVD. And then shortly after that, the Blu-ray came out. So I ended up buying this three different times, but I do like the movie. Up next is George A. Romero's The Crazies, and this is the original. This is from 1973. And there was a remake not too long ago. Um, I don't recall what the re I, I don't think I saw the remake. I can't remember. This is a good one. This the original one was good. And it's about um, the military try to contain a virus that causes death and insanity to those that in it infects. And it takes place in Pennsylvania. And they have to um, find a stop to this virus before it wipes the whole state out and then the whole country. So pretty good film. And it's a, another good change of pace for Romero to uh, do a movie like this instead of zombie films. And uh, I wish he would do more movies like this now even. But this is 1973, The Crazies. Let me check that one out. And up next is a double feature from Bruno Mattai. And this is Hell of the Living Dead and Rats, Night of Terror. If I had to choose between the two, I think I like uh, Hell of the Living Dead a little bit better. And it's another... Hell of the Living Dead is kind of another... Um, People travel to a remote island, and the island is inhabited by zombies type of film, which those are pretty fun. And then Rats, um, that takes place after, um, I think it was like 100 years after a nuclear war, and all these giant rats are uh, thriving and surviving on the, uh, on the earth. And then there's a motorcycle gang that rolls through town, and they have to battle these rats. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's it's not supposed to be funny, but it is comical. There's some pretty funny elements to it, but it's pretty good uh, little creature feature film. And this is a good twin pack. I recommend this. And the last Blu-ray is Fire and Ice from Ralph Bakshi. And this is a very good animated film from 1983. And it's about a young warrior who, who must... Um, defeat the ice lord the ice lord um the ice lord created a glacier that wiped out his hometown his uh, home village and then the ice lord um captures the king's daughter so he has to go in without giving too much of the film away it's it's a very good watch very entertaining and bakshi always had great animation and bakshi was the one that did the original the hobbit in 1977 so it's that same type of animation, which is really good. I enjoy it. I'm not sure if this one's out of print or not yet. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it, but I'm sure you can probably find this on eBay or Amazon or something for a pretty reasonable price. That is the last Blu-ray, and that's Fire and Ice. 
Now I have eight DVDs here. And again, we have Fulci Zombie. I'm not going to go over that anymore. I, you guys already know the movie. I'll just show you real quick. Cool image on the inside there. And that is zombie. For like the 20th time in my collection. Up next is Shockwaves. This film was made in 1977. And it stars Peter Cushing. And it's another type of... Um, Visitors go to a deserted island, but this time they thought it was a deserted island, but this time the um, island is inhabited by a mad Nazi who is um, bringing up the dead and he's creating an undead army. So it's it's a pretty good uh, pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. So that's Shockwaves. Up next is George A. Romero and Dario Argento, Two Evil Eyes, and this is an anthology film. There's two movies on this film. They're each an hour apiece. And it's up on the top it says it's 17107. I don't know what the uh, what it was limited to, but that's my number at the top, 17107. And then you have the bonus disc here. And I, in this film here, I, I enjoyed both of them, but I liked um, Romero's a little bit better. Romero's had kind of a zombie story to it, and Argento's had the black cat story, which they're both very good. Harvey Keitel was in the, the cat movie, and Adrian Barbeau was in the, uh, the zombie movie. So I recommend, this one was limited to, I, I don't know what, um, this is 17107. So I don't know what it was limited to. Um, up next is The Church. This is a 1989 movie about an ancient church that was built over a mass burial ground. And within the church there's uh, demons and dark souls and stuff like that. There's kinds of stuff like that. This is a good movie. I enjoyed it. That is The Church from 1989. Up next is Dead and Buried. And this is a little digipack. This is the other one I was I was thinking of. This is the other one that's numbered. I think I showed you um, Two Evil Eyes twice. This is number 04214 and I don't know how many were made. But this is a pretty sweet little uh, digipack here. And this is a good movie too. It came out in 1981. And you got some little inserts and little art cards and stuff. You got two discs. It's a little chapter menu. And then you have some of their previous releases. And this is a, a good, solid film. I enjoyed it. It's about a... This is another island-type movie. And the townsfolk murder tourists. But the tourists keep coming back to life. And they send in investigators to find out what's going on, why, why the crimes are occurring, why are people getting killed, and why are they coming back to life. And without giving too much of the movie away, they um, find out that there's somebody's using voodoo. So it's one of those kind of movies, but it's it's very enjoyable. I enjoyed Dead and Buried. And I got three more here, guys. I have um, Bear Behind Bars. And this is the X-rated version. And this movie came out in 1980. And it's a, one of those prison torture rape type films, but there's actual real penetration in this film. Yeah, this is this is hardcore uh, here. And that is Bear Behind Bars from 1980. And next up we have Cannibal Man 
from 1973. And this movie is it's kind of weird, but it's uh, it has kind of a good story. It's it's original. It um, the main character accidentally kills a taxi driver in the beginning of the film. So he doesn't know what to do. So he goes home and tells his girlfriend the whole story. And she tells him that he better go call the cops, you know, report it right away. Well, he doesn't want to do that. So now he kills her. And he doesn't know what to do now. So he goes and talks to his brother. And his brother tells him, you got to turn it in, turn it into the police. So then he has to kill his brother and it goes on and on. And the main character is a butcher. So he gets rid of the bodies by taking it taking them in and, and cutting them up and then you'll have to watch to see what happens and there is a reason that's called cannibal man so it's a pretty good movie solid and the last one is conquest another fulci film and this is kind of a sword and sorcery type film pretty good i enjoyed it it's from 1983 and it's uh it's about a warrior with a magic bow and he sets off on a journey to get rid of evil, to rid the land of evil. And there's a there's an evil witch who wants to take, wants to kill him and take his magic bow, pretty much. That's really the best way I can describe it. It's it's very cheesy, but it's enjoyable. So guys, that is my Blue Underground collection. Let me know what titles you have. Let me know what titles I should pick up. And thanks for watching. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll sub you back. And I will talk to you guys later.